So today I'm gonna to quickly show you how to add your Acorns debit card to the Apple Wallet. So we're gonna go ahead and do this here in real time. You can see we have the Apple Wallet loaded up right here. You can also go ahead and search for it. So we're gonna tap on this and open it up so we can go ahead and add this in. Now, as we're going through this, make sure you hit that like button. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel to help us continue to make more free content just like this, that goes a long way. So now that we're here on our wallet, yes, I got tons of cards on here. We're gonna go ahead and click this little plus button at the top right hand side of the screen. And then from here, what we're gonna wanna do is hover down here where it says debit or credit card. We're gonna tap right over here. And now it's gonna go ahead and give us this little section right here to kind of give a quick explanation. We're gonna hit continue at the bottom. And then from here, it's actually gonna first and foremost have a camera open for you. You're not gonna see it on my screen. So you can actually scan your card in real time. Now, what you can do is go ahead and enter it in manually if you want, but truthfully, if you are able to scan it, it will just go through this process that much faster for you. But either way, we're gonna have all of our card information added on. So now what it did after it scanned my information, it already pre-populated my name. We could double verify with the card number. Obviously it's blocked on screen here. If everything looks good, we're gonna tap on the next button. And then from here, it did already catch the expiration date for us. And now we just gotta go and put in the security code, which is that three digit code. We're gonna toss ours in. And then the next button right here is going to be highlighted up. So now you're gonna see right over here, it's gonna say adding a card. This is actually happening in real time. It usually just takes a few moments for us to go through here when it comes to that. And then once we have it up, we'll show you the next step. So from right over here, you're gonna see it has the terms and conditions you can swipe through. And then on the bottom right hand side, you'll see where it says agree. Now it goes back to the adding card page right over here. You can see that twirl twirling in real time. This just takes a few moments, now it switched over to saying adding to wallet. So it said card added, now they just need to do a verification. So there are three different ways you can verify either in this section, you can call Acorns, you can have it email to you, or you can have a text message. You can also complete this later if you want, but we're gonna go ahead and get this done today. So we're gonna do a text message for us. We're gonna tap over on next. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and plug in that code, but nice thing is it goes ahead and goes through that process for us in real time. And right here, it's gonna ask us if we wanna set this card as our default. You can hit this button right over here to do so, or you can hit not now if you don't want it to be the first card that comes up. Now, if by chance you do want this card or another card to be the default card on your Apple wallet, check out my video right over here on screen to learn exactly how to do that.